from the moment we, we took the initial call in our dispatch center to the time we got officers on scene, it was just minutes, but in that short period of time, that shooting was able to happen. A professor is dead tonight and the University of Arizona community rocked after a shooting today inside a campus building. We continue to follow breaking news tonight as we learn more about the shooting suspect and how today's deadly events unfolded. Shots ringing out just before two o'clock inside the Harsh Barger building. That's near 2nd Street and Mountain Avenue on campus. Let's get straight to our live team coverage. We start with News 4 Tucson's Shelly Jackson, who's learning new details on this ongoing investigation. Shelly, what can you tell us? Well, Sean, Monica, that shooting was about eight hours ago and the area is still all closed off. Let's take a look. Now, the Tucson Police Department is helping UAPD with the crime scene investigation. This all started around 1.59 this afternoon. That's when UAPD says they received a call from the Harshbarger building. That's where the Department of Hydrology and Atmospheric Sciences is located. The caller said there was a former student in the building and he wasn't supposed to be there. The caller requested that police escort him out. The University of Arizona Police Department was en route when we received uh, an additional report that someone had been shot inside the Harshbarger building. UAPD received several calls reporting the shooting. Police issued U alerts asking students and staff to leave campus. The victim, a professor at the University of Arizona, later died at Banner Hospital. Yeah, from the moment we, we took the initial call in our dispatch center to the time we got officers on scene, it was just minutes, but in that short period of time, that shooting was able to happen. The Arizona Department of Public Safety apprehended the suspect just outside of Gila Bend around 5:10 Wednesday afternoon. He has been identified as 46-year-old Murat Dervish. UAPD says he used a handgun in the shooting. We do not know why Dervish was not allowed in the building, but people do know he wasn't allowed to be there. It was someone who was known to the staff member that, as a former student, uh, and they believe that he should not be in the building. And now the entire campus mourning the tragic loss. It's a tremendously tragic event. We, we feel so incredibly bad for, for the professor's family, friends, and colleagues, and our hearts really just go out to them. Now, tonight we are learning more about that suspect, Murad Dervesh. He was recently evicted from his home just west of campus. There's also a restraining out of order out on him taken by a woman living in San Diego. Live from the University of Arizona, Shelly Jackson, News 4, Tucson. Thank you, Shelley. So let's go ahead and recap what we know so far in this investigation. A professor was killed after witnesses say multiple shots rang out just before two o'clock in the afternoon at the Harsh Barger building, which is near the student union. The name of the professor who was killed has not officially been released. The suspected shooter then drove away from the campus and following a multi agency manhunt, he was arrested three hours later near Hilliband. The suspect has been ID'd, as Shelley just said, 46-year-old Murad Dervish, a former student of the U of A. He is in Tucson jail tonight. He's expected to face charges tomorrow morning in video court. And the impact of this deadly shooting is hitting hard tonight across our community, but especially among students and staff on the U of A campus. We continue our live team coverage with News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink. And Eric, you've been on campus uh, since just after that 911 call came in this afternoon. What have you learned tonight? Yeah, Sean, we have been here about seven and a half hours. Now the investigation just beginning tonight and just after the shooting, I spoke with a student who was in class across the street and they had to go on lockdown when the group chat blew up and we were all like, oh, be safe. Like my heart low key dropped. And yeah. I was like, oh, was like this is scary. Students were in shock when they started getting notifications on their phone. Senior Zachary Raddick was in class across the street when shots were fired. Our teacher suddenly heard a bunch of uh, police cars and whatnot blocking the road and whatnot. And then 10 minutes later, I think was it, we got the notification that there was a shooting and we locked down completely in the uh, Harville building. One student tells us she was about to go in the building where the shooting happened when she got a text. I got a notification saying that there was a suspect and we should stay away from Harshbarger and um, the professor I work for uh, messaged everybody in the lab group that we need to stay away and 
we were getting updates from them for a little bit. I was in the aerospace engineering building just a little bit down there. I was studying with one of my friends and uh, we heard some noise. I thought it was someone hitting the wall, but apparently it was a gunshot. Around 3.30, all classes were canceled for the rest of the day. Students and staff were urged to leave campus. Two hours later, we learned a professor was dead and the gunman was in custody. It's a little jarring knowing that something like this could happen, like so close to where you live and where you go to school. And campus officials say classes are expected to resume tomorrow. Live tonight at the U of A, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.